So we're going to start uh, working the bladder meridian. Right? And the, again, they're, they're bilateral, so we're going to work one side and then the other. And this particular one, uh, meridian-wise, is the longest meridian in the body. It starts on the front of the face, and it's going to run um, on either side of the spine in two parallel lines. And then it goes right through the sacrum, and then it goes right through the gluteals, and then the line continues through the hamstrings, right through the back of the knee and the popliteal crease, and then right through the center of the gastroc, to the gastroc heads, and off the side of the foot. So before we start, we're going to do a little loosening, right? So this is something that I'm sure we all have different things of doing, but I want to watch you uh, loosen to see how you're using your body weight even uh, when you're doing this, right? So we're going to be, um, I'll loosen one side a little bit, so I'm going to be using it, just apply a little pressure. some general loosening. Uh, forearm works really well here at that juncture. Uh, depressing down creates a little space, but it op also opens up the uh, fascia. Uh, there's a thick connective tissue there, the aponeurosis, uh, that serves as connection for a lot of the larger muscles uh, of the back, the erectors, uh, the latissimus. So just a little melting technique there. A lot of times with the gluteals, because of the nature of how they attach uh, from the sacrum and to the greater trochanter of the femur, and there's a layering process below uh, the gluteals is the 60 lateral rotators. Um, usually in loosening, I find that if I include a little motion, uh, that really helps loosen uh, the gluteals. a slight discoloration of the lower leg will take care of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, what I meant by the motion here uh, to address the lateral rotators primarily is applying compression but also some movement of the leg. Start to open up the hip a little bit. That's okay. It's just a nice way with the flat of the fist and through an extended arm to get some loosening in the gluteals and the deep lateral rotators. Now, uh, the hamstrings, you know, people's hamstrings, thick, you know, some people, heavy uh, muscle, long muscle, thick muscle. Uh, so compression on it, uh, you know, a lot of different things. I mean, you know, we, we compress a lot this way, right? Um, There's a lot of different ways to compress the hamstring, just in general, just to use body weight. Uh, in shiatsu and tantak, a lot of things try to do this. So we can come up and use the knee. Because for me, it utilizes my body weight a little bit more efficiently. I don't know where you're working, if there's any rules about not coming up on the table. If that's the case, well, you have to, you know, not do this then primarily. But I'm just saying, uh, it's a very nice way. Oh, the pressure's okay? Mm -hmm. 
uh, of utilizing your body weight, and it's a broader contact area, so it's a little bit more efficient and uh, it really saves your hands from that. Yeah. And just some just general pet massage or whatever feels appropriate just to loosen the area. We're going to continue this uh, technique all the way out the side of the foot, so just addressing the area primarily between uh, the lateral malleolus and the Achilles tendon, this little area here, and then coming right onto the side of the foot, right out the lateral edge, and right out the little toe. That's the course of the bladder. And uh, for this demo, do you mind if I take this off? No. <laughs> Not <laughs> bacon grease. <laughs> <laughs> it might be frozen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> so little. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times in myofascial work, they don't use any, a lot of times you don't use any. Yeah. Uh, I, I always use a little bit, but I'm just going to do some general loosening here. Create some space. Because we're going to be coming right through here. <coughs> Spend some time with general loosening, right? I mean, I'm not going to go right into some deep tissue. I'm just going to do loosening. Uh, the compression also that, that we started with is such a good barometer of the condition, the overall condition or tonus of the muscle. So it's good to spend a little time doing that. Okay, so this first segment, we're going to start by coming in and bringing the forearm here and addressing the tissue of the upper back. So we're going to come down like this and hook underneath and bring that tissue up. So my forearm is in a neutral position and I'm just uh, lateral of the spine. I'm in the lamina groove, basically. And I'm just going down, but at a slower engaged uh, pace. And as I'm standing here in a wider stance, I can feel um, that my weight is on my back. This foot is just more support. So if you want this line of energy, that's where all your power comes from. That's where all your contacts come from. Pressure's okay? And we're just going to take this down. So, and the next pass is this. Uh, we're going to come down, but now we're going to hook around the border of the scapula. And you notice I'm changing my angle. So I put in here, and I'm engaging right above the superior angle of the scapula. But then I rotate over so that my contact can come right up against the vertebral border of the scapula. And for that to happen, my hand goes from neutral to turning like this, and it sends the contact right up against uh, the vertebral border of the scapula. Pressure's okay? Not too much? Just following that line.
And again, I'm just immediately lateral of the spine in the laminar group. So not only the tissue, of course, but the meridian comes right onto the sacrum. So a lot of times when you get past the 12th rib, uh, it's, maybe it's not such a great idea to put a lot of direct pressure down through this area. But what you can do is this, pain and use the side of your arm to come like this, and then come right up onto the sacrum. Because it's a broad surface going this way, so the body takes the pressure more. Sometimes when you're using your elbow and coming down, a lot of times you'll bump into this and it uh, makes for a rather awkward situation. So this, this position here like this, fine. And just take it right up to the sacrum. As a matter of fact, that will be just the first exchange, uh, part we do this, okay? So I want you to do both sides, you know, loosen it and make this first sweep down in general, round, and then down again, okay? And um, that will give me a sense of how you're working all those groups, and then I can add some things to that. But if you want to lay out something, okay, that's enough for that.